A friendly international against Scotland netted the Dolphins 26 goals by 17 scores. This was the only test before the first game against Mountain Pacific champion UC Davis. And be like, yeah, that was awesome. Okay. All right, yeah. great job, Thank great you. job. This is Inside the Pod, a season with the Dolphins. Junior Captain Parker Day enjoys exploring downtown Jacksonville and historic Riverside. I love Jacksonville. I think it has everything. I think it has the beach, it has like the hippie area of Riverside, it has just everything. Any kind of person that you are, you'll fit in somewhere here in the city. Well, I'm kind of nerdy. I have like a coffee shop journal, so I like to pick coffee shops that have like good ratings and just seem interesting. And I'll go there either with someone or just by myself, and I'll just take a picture and put it in my journal. But um, the hippie side, they have a lot of weird and cool stuff. So a lot of the coffee shops will have just posters of places you can go. So I know they have like. Every second Wednesday, they have poetry slam nights that I've gone to, which is really cool. They have stand up. Well, we're going to my favorite coffee shop. It's called Southern Roots. It's a place me and uh, my friend Mac Ellen found when she was a senior. And we would bring people here who we wanted to bond with and try to open them up, especially like the freshmen on our team. So, this has just become my favorite area of all time. It has every single side of Jacksonville you could possibly have. Like, every single feel you could possibly have and um, then we'll probably go to one of my favorite comic stores and maybe an antique shop so we'll see how it goes this is the book they always have in here it's um you just write down what you're grateful for every single time you come in so today i'm grateful for ju women's Across. Latte with uh, almond milk and a uh, pump of lavender, please. Um, I also just like, I guess, the environment of coffee shop. I like the types of people that go there. Um, I just like it as a social aspect, and even if I just want to go there alone and just study or concentrate on something else. It's Friday night on game week. The team is participating in the Tim Tebow Foundation's Night to Shine. Night to Shine is an opportunity for the team to serve young people with special needs and shine God's love on their prom night. This is our turn, a night 
Night to Shine is a night to celebrate. One of six transfers on the team, Junior, McKenna Rushford was looking for a structure and a new family when she joined the pod. Her impact on the team is noticeable, scoring a hat trick in her first game. Definitely have changed as a player and increased talent-wise just based off of all the help from the coaches and playing with new people that all want the same thing and all have the same drive to achieve the same things. <laughs> Taking a step out of the one school and just looking at back at what I could have done differently, I kind of learned to just focus on what I'm there for. And you can get distracted or you can get impacted by other situations. It was, yeah, a lot of a lot of mental accountability. I found my, my morals, my personal um, values. Here, the expectations are laid out. Everybody follows them, including the coaches. But here, I know exactly what the coaches expect from me, and I know that there's an expectation of family and culture, and it's just been set for so long that it's easy to just come in and fit into that get a second chance at uh, another team. Yeah, oh, God, yeah. Yeah, God, bro. Okay. Wow. Look at that, you got that thing. Peace. Oh, bro. Winning's a big thing. I mean, what that's all, what you put all your work into is to win, right? Like running and work, lifting and all the lunge that we do and all that kind of stuff, that's for, to win. The thrill, <laughs> that's what we're in it for. But our spirit on the sideline is going to bring us together, it's going to unite us, and it's going to do that on the field. It's game day. <laughs> today is the day, this is the sacred day that you've all waited for. Over the game, this is our system, this is our style of play, this is our house. One team, one win, let's go. The wait is over. It's finally game day. Settle in and play your game. I mean, your game is excellent. There's just so many players that come out onto the field and can score. Good cut right towards the center of the lane and a quick goal by the Dolphins. It's Alexis Deacon. Rushford wants to score and she does and quickly it's 2-0 Dolphins. Kenzie turns the corner, great fake, one on one, puts it in the back of the net again. And this Dolphins unit is firing on all cylinders right now. The Dolphins raced out to a 10 goal lead. Arnold works to her right and now scores this time around. This time it's Lily Miller. The blitz continues today. First game of the 2019 season, exactly what you would have wanted if you were the Jacksonville Dolphins. Domination at home and a 1-0 start to the season. Coming up on Inside the Pod. Bird Box, I was scared. I didn't sleep the whole night. One of the dopest stores. JULacrosse.com is your home for outstanding summer camp instruction. Join the pod for our camps in Jacksonville, Florida in June or July.